Hi, I'm David. And I'm Mandy. And where memories are out there. And in today's episode, we're talking all our must-dos at Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. All right, what are we starting off with? Rides, attractions, shows, food? Let's do shows. Shows. Shows it is. Oh, it's right on our script. That's first. <laughs> okay. Read the script, David. So, there. check your app for show times. And if you don't have the app... In front of each one, will in front of each place where they do the show, will tell you what the show times. Yeah, they'll are. have some type of display out showing you. But the, you can uh, just check the app and it'll tell you. Yep, you can. Which one? Which one are we gonna talk about first? For the first time in forever, a Frozen sing along. Dude, it's legit funny. It is so good. It's funnier than the movie. We never did it until what? When we moved here. Yeah. Uh, so like the cartoon is obviously it's a cartoon and it's kind of a comedy, but the show is two live guests come out and narrate the gist of the movie. And what is it? 15 minutes? They, I feel like it's longer. It than does that. feel a little bit longer. 15 minute show. They are. It's a male and a female always. They're from Arendelle. Yeah. I can't remember what they call them. No, they're storytellers. But they are the people that are running the coronation. Basically. Yeah. And it's basically nothing but a bunch of jokes. Like, oh it gosh. almost feels like a lot of dad jokes. It's so kind good. Of. They are so funny. Yeah. Anna and Elsa might or might not come out. Sven. Is that his name? No. Sven? No. Sven's no? the reindeer. Yeah. Sven. What? What is his name? <laughs> it's Flynn Rider, isn't no. it? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's Kristoff. Kristoff. Come That's on. it. What the heck? Come on. Um. His name's Sven. Yeah, it's so fun. they'll come out for short things, yeah. but the two people that are doing it, they are just yeah, so they're, funny. They're the show. Yes. The, the the movie and the characters are the background. The two people are the show. And then they you do the sing-along, of course. They do a sing-along to every song that's in the first version. Yeah, and like now you might be going, oh my God, do I got to hear Let It Go one more time or right. any of those other ones? But in the moment... Like it's in the moment you're singing along too. everybody in that audience. And it's packed every single time. It's packed. every show. And they just re, uh, refurbished it. They yes, put they new did. carpet and stuff in. Like yeah. it's, it's nice in there. There's a lot of seats too. And every show that we've ever been in has been completely full. Yeah. I don't want to say sold out, but it feels like every single seat. is full. Yeah. It's awesome, dude. And by the end, everybody's singing at the last song and things Clapping, are, yeah, and things it's are just, happening man it's awesome you have to go see it it's it a must a do if you have a kid do. yeah total must do even if you don't have a kid yeah because no, you're I, gonna laugh and have fun yeah it is funny yeah we we rave about it we've we've done it many times many times maddie will want to will go watch it well now that she rides roller coasters not so much but right. we go watch it and then as soon as it's over she's like let's go to the next show yeah it's it's pretty cool <laughs> all right it's what's, a lot of fun we have another show Indiana Jones, Epic Stunt Spectacular. You got it. Good job. <laughs> uh, if you've never seen this, it's a must do. Yes. At least once. And you talk about size. It's probably Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's not as big as Fantasmic by no means, but no, it's no, no, probably no, no. the second biggest seating arena. It's definitely bigger than uh, the Beauty and the Beast show. Yeah, it's huge. And it gets packed. It does. There's a couple showings a day, and it's packed. And you can always hear. Usually when we're walking into the park, you boom, boom, boom. Yeah, because it's like, over by that? the parking like, lot. That's Indiana Jones. Yep. The, it's uh, really good. The new movie's coming out soon, so I imagine that show is not going anywhere anytime soon. I did see pictures. I guess they're going to bring out Indiana Jones for a limited time. Oh, yeah? To get pictures and stuff with. That's cool. He'll be just as... Uh, That'll be awesome. He'll be just as popular as Mandalorian there for a little while. Yeah. So they should totally leave him out. That would be great. It would. The show's been there forever. It might. I think the show was there at park opening for Hollywood Studios back when it was MGM. Wow. Uh, oh, I missed the hat. I know, right? I missed the hat. And it still darn near sells out every single show. Yeah, it's it's good. It's very loud. It so is. So if your little one has sensitive ears, maybe prepare to maybe cover their ears at certain points yeah there's some pyrotechnics there's, or maybe don't sit all the way up front there's but airplanes there's all kinds of stuff it, it's it's good it's really neat it's, it, it's, it's definitely cool. a must do uh we've done it many times and every once in a while we'll still go there and sit down yep 
And and you can sit down for a little while and get out of the sun because all of the seating is covered. It is covered, so no sun, and there are some fans. Yeah, there is. It's not inside, so you're not getting air conditioning, but they do have some fans. Yeah. What's next? Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Beauty and the Beast. So one of the two of us is a diehard Beauty and the Beast fan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If you're listening, I point it to me. <laughs> Although I really do like it. All the songs are great. The stage show is really freaking awesome. The stage awesome. show is awesome. Costumes, the dancing, the all. of course the soundtrack is classic. You have to go see it at least once. It's totally a must do. It's a big outdoor arena thing. Seating. It's covered, right? All Your seats are covered. I'm pretty sure all of them Up are covered. Up until like the very back few seats, I think... Depending on where the sun is. Yeah, for sure. It's back by um, Walk Towards Tower of Terror and just hang a right. Yeah, it's on Hollywood Boulevard. Not Hollywood. Oh Sunset. Sunset Boulevard. One of the two of us used to work on that strip. You think they would remember. You think. Yeah. So, great show. It yes. really is. It's like a live on stage show of the movie. Yeah, it, it is really good. You have to see it at least once. It's really good. Next one and we the last one? one. There's four shows must do. Well, no, there's there's a couple more that I'm skipping. Okay, okay. Fantasmic. Man, I'm glad they brought it back. Me too. I'm telling you, if you're if you're at the park that day and you're staying until park close, stay for the show. Go up there and enjoy the last hour of your day. Go up there, get a seat. There's a gazillion seats. It's all benches, so it's not like you're gonna you run out of seats. Like they squish everybody together on those benches. Yeah, and when it first opened back them. up, they had to have two shows because a night just, yeah. because so many people were coming just to go to mm-hmm. it, and they were filling up then. We but, were we were there not too long ago, and there was a line. Yeah, like well over an hour before the show. I know the sun was still out, kind of crazy. Uh, I can tell you, you do not have to get in line that early. You, you don't. There's so many seats. Now, I really if you're don't like, think so. If you, if Unless you, you want to sit in, in the front. You really want that front seat somewhere. Yeah, okay. but You're going to line up early because I'm pretty sure they start lining up by 8. Every bit of 8. I think it's 7, 7 Oh, it might be because I think we were there at 7 yeah. something. Uh, and you can see the show from anywhere. And quite honestly, at the end of the show, if you're all the way down in front. You're the last one out. You are not getting out anytime soon because there's thousands of people to watch phantasmic and it's worth it oh it's so good it's worth it yes and i'm i like we've been there when phantasmic was like getting ready to go off and i don't feel like the ride times go down that much when phantasmic is like i feel like in magic kingdom you know when the fireworks are go off because the lines like the times drop yeah and i don't think it does and it doesn't I feel like that I've in never hollywood paid attention I don't think it feels like that. I mean, I know a gazillion people stand up by the castle and, and on Main Street for the fireworks, but Fantasmic is huge. It is huge. It's- it is awesome. Dude, when Mickey comes out all those times, like the crowd roars. It's great. It seriously Dude, dun, 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 dun. like it might be <laughs> It might be the best show. It might be the best nighttime show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because it's, it's completely com- yeah, different it's complete- from Happily Ever After. When the snake comes out, you're like, whoa. The yeah. boat comes out. All the other boats that come out, the mini boats, like, it's completely different than the Castle Fireworks. It's completely different, but. Absolutely do it at the end of your night. Dude, you'll, you will be so happy that you didn't go get in a car, go get on a bus, and save yourself 30 minutes. Go do that nighttime show. Yes. Hands down. It's awesome. That's our must-do shows. Yes. And that's four, and that's a good day. If you've seen all four of those in one day, like, that's a pretty darn good day right there. Yeah, it is. Totally. Now, if you want some thrill rides? Hollywood is probably the most thrill rides. The most in one park. Out of Disney. Yeah, the most in one park. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about some of them. First one's not a thrill ride. No. Uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Disclaimer, this thing has broken down on us quite a few times. Yeah. And we get why, stuck in line. Why, not while we've rode it. Never while we've been on it. 
But while we've been in line multiple times for like 30 minutes and they'd come out and go, we don't know when it's expected to come back up, blah, blah, blah. And we always leave. But it's because we've wrote it so many times. Yeah. Uh, I, it's awesome. It is awesome. It's so Maddie cool. and I love this ride. You we guys try ride to it ride it every time yeah. we go to Hollywood. We'll get there early before David just so we can get on that ride. Yep. It's, and it's just, I love it too. It's just, we've rode it so many times. I don't want to stay in line for yeah. 50 minutes for it, but there's nothing wrong with it. That ride is awesome. It is awesome. It's so much fun. The different rooms that you go into, it's got a cart that's like Remy, if you haven't ridden it yet. Yeah. Um, it's just it's, it's a trackless cart so you don't fun. know which way your cart's going to go and then depending because it's a railway right so it's a train and there's like four or five carts attached to each uh locomotive which is where goofy is they separate i don't know if i yeah. started by they separate and depending on which cart you end uh depends designates on where you where you go well you all go this you always see the same stuff Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's in the same room. Yes. Yeah. It's just you're in, you'll end up, if you were in the first car, you might end up being the last one when you go back. Yeah, in the next section or because something. Because you've gotten moved around so much. Awesome. The theme songs are awesome. It's beautiful in there. Do you remember the first time we watched it live and we were standing in the, um, the queue, the, the room? Oh, yeah. The, the, before you even get on the ride, yeah. Something happens at the show. It's. And it's probably, I, the internet's probably ruined it now. I, I think we've even put up shorts, oh, yeah. like, of it. And, in you know, looking back at it, you can tell how they did it. But uh, when the first time it happened, we were like, what? Yeah. How did you, how do we get through this wall? It's awesome. It was so cool. We was, were like, why are we going in this room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. And there are, when you're in that room, there are hidden Mickeys everywhere. Oh, yeah. Before the show, before the, uh, the movie starts. Yep. I... There's like five hidden Mickeys on that wall. Because you, you can the count room. them. Yeah, in yep. that room. All right, let's move on definitely to the next a, one. Definitely a must-do. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh, the next one it is the, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It is not a must-do for me, but I know it's a must-do for everybody else. It is a must-do for everybody else except for you. I'm terrified of that ride. It is a Disney classic ride. It is still extremely popular. People who rope drop Hollywood Studios go right there. Uh, it is always... Even though there's other new attractions, it just it still holds, it still holds true. It's almost always over 100 minutes. All the uh, the decor, the queue, the store afterwards. The store afterwards is awesome. Yeah. I love the store. Um, everything about it. It's But it is, it's a random drop ride. So yeah. if you don't like the, <laughs> the uh, feeling of free falling... It is definitely not the ride for you. The last time I got off of it, I cried. I oh my so gosh! Scared. Before your cart actually drops, like you go through, like uh, I'm not going to talk, talk about it, but you go through other sections. It is so cool. It really is. You would love, like, if it took away the drops, you would love like riding through all the things yeah. up there. Uh, but I you just... know, when your cart pulls forward and it goes, and you know, like locks into place, Game you're long on. for the ride. <laughs> 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 it's so cool. Yeah. It, again, not a must-do for me, but a must-do for everybody else. Unless you don't like that, then you're in my group. Yeah, it's a legit <laughs> thrill ride, but you'll see kids on there all day. Uh, and it's not like a drop tower, like an outside drop tower where it just takes you up 250 feet and just drops you one time. No. This is you're inside the building, and the doors will open up sometimes as you go up and down. So you can see out. Yeah, and sometimes you only drop like 20 feet. You know, it's, it's real quick. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, but it, it does keep taking you up. Yeah, you'll drop five or six times, but it's completely random. So every time you get on it, it does feel like a different ride. Yeah. Love it. I don't. We haven't got the ride in a while because somebody doesn't like riding it. You can ride it without me. I don't like riding it myself. Anyway. What's next? Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Roller Coaster, Aerosmith. So it's been down for a few months. It is now back up and running. Some it refurbishment. It is back up. They refurbished it because it kept breaking down with the takeoff thing. The launch. The launch. But um, it has been refurbished, so hopefully it's not breaking down as much anymore. Yep. This Everything coaster is awesome. It, dude. It's an inside coaster. The, the, the theming of it, you're walking through, it's Aerosmith's at a recording studio, and if you get into a recording studio, you like you see it, and it's like, oh, man, that's so cool. Aerosmith comes in, and they're late for a gig, so they got to hurry up and get out and hop in a... Very no. fast limousine mm -hmm. to get to the show. And they that's the speed. theming of the ride. Then you walk out of the studio and you walk into like... A garage. Yeah, it's like the back street 
area of where the limit would be. And then you pull around, and it counts down three, two, one, and you are all for the ride, man. Next thing you know, you're upside down. There's street signs flying by your head, neon yeah. signs. And I haven't got to ride it The music's forever. jamming, like classic Aerosmith songs. Because Maddie won't ride it, so I haven't got to ride it. It's been a while. In a long time, but I love this roller coaster. It's awesome. It, it will definitely get your heart pumping. You go to Hollywood and you ride Tower and you ride Rock and Roller Coaster. You're good, man. You because are. they both have such long waits yeah. that half your day's over anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> this is another ride that people will go and uh, rope drop. They'll rope drop and run right to Rock and Roller Coaster. That corner. If you pull up the app, almost at any time, they're both over 100 minutes. Yeah. Down Sunset Boulevard, man. It's... There's time when I'll pull it up and I'll look and I'll be like, oh my gosh, Chop Chair is only 60 minutes. And that's yeah. still long, but it's yeah. like, it's usually over 100. Yeah. And we're like, wow, it must not be a busy day. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Next up. Next up, Toy Story Mania. Toy Story Mania. Might be the biggest thrill ride there. What? I'm joking. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought you were losing it. It's fun. I love this fun. ride. We love Toy Story as a family. It is one of, well, you and I anyway. Yeah. It's all four of them. They just, mm-hmm. I don't know. They're, they mean something. They're the epitome us. of storytelling and <laughs> cartoon, everything like, you want to They're our favorites. Like, they are at the top they of the list. They are very high up. So Woody and Buzz hold a very special uh, place in our hearts. Yes. And... It's fun. You're in a cart. You're spinning. You're shooting. Game. It's carnival games. It's so much fun. Yeah. And we love to be competitive and see who can do the best out of the three of us. Extremely competitive because it shows your score at the end. Uh, and it's two-person ride, and then you have your backs to two other uh, people. But there's like a there's a barrier in between you, so you're not like resting against each other. No, yeah. And, uh, dude... Your arm is locked tight by the end of oh this ride. Oh, my gosh. You can't move it free. The whole, the whole like, exit through the gift shop. You're going, oh, uh, God, I got uh. the claw. I got the claw. But this, it's a lot of fun. Dude, it's, it's awesome. Definitely a must-do. And the queue, it's always a wait, too. If, if yeah. you can get that in 35 minutes, oh, my gosh. Oh, heck yeah. It's like, heck yeah, go. Yeah. And sometimes it happens. Um, the queue is awesome. The queue is awesome. Very well, very well themed. Yes, yes. Love um, it. We can't say nothing. Good, not, not enough good things about it. Yep, it's fun. Yeah, I, it's amazing. Next up, Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog Dash. We finally got Maddie. That's when that's one of the first big roller coasters she would ride. Uh, and it's it's fun, man. There's parts of it that scare me really bad, but I have fun on it. The way the carts are built. They're kind of tall, and you have like the slink, like the um, the slinky part of Slinky Dog. It goes up, kind of in front of your face from the cart in front of you. So it's kind of hard to see, and especially if you're in the front row. You're not getting a visual of like where you're going because it's the front you've of gone Slinky. Over that. <laughs> yeah, Slinky's like the cart itself is very big and bulky, um, but there's sections of hills where you go up and you because you can't see outside of the cart at times. It, yeah, yeah there's it has some parts a slight that scare me. It. Has two launches. It's fun. You launch the first time going up the hill around the big uh Jesse. Yeah, the big hill that everybody sees when you're in Toy Story Land. There's a launch up there and then there's the second launch at the uh three, two, one, go. Yeah. It's fun. very fun ride. Very fun. Again, always a long wait. Always a long wait, and it's all outdoors. Yes. It's, most of it's covered, but it just feels hot over in Toy Story Land. It always feels I think because there's there. so many people. Yeah, they need to go away. Stop it. So we have toys for land ourselves. Um, but it is it is a fun roller coaster. It's a must do if you're it's there for one day. It's considered a family coaster. I've been on yeah, it before, yeah. where Maddie and David rode together, and I rode with a dad, and his two boys were in front of us, and they were little, and they got off, and they loved it. They yeah. were just screaming and hooting and hollering, and yeah, it it's right on the verge of being like an actual thrill ride. Versus being like a family roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. It straddles that line pretty well. It's awesome. It's fun. It's incredibly it's, smooth. It is. Always a long line. Always. But Slink- it's definitely a must do. Slinky is a must do. I agree. Do you have any more on here? Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. 
Yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, I mean, it's the Millennium Falcon, dude. Listen, How are you not going to go ride the Millennium Falcon? Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, because yeah. I hate to admit this, yeah. but I've only yeah. seen a couple of them. Yeah. I still have fun on it. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, one time I got picked as the driver. It was terrible. I kept wrecking us. I couldn't keep us straight. It was the worst straight. time. I felt bad for the other people in the cart. <laughs> it was, so it was bad. terrible. <laughs> It's a joystick. Like, pull back and you fly. It was, We no, hit everything. We were. We hit everything. We were all over the place. It was terrible. You hit everything. I was alone for the ride. It was bad. So the next time we got on it, I was like, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. Yeah, so the two people in front, because it's six seats, individual seats, and the two people in front actually pilot the Falcon. I was thinking it was going to be like... Fake. Th- yeah, fake. Yeah. Like, it's still going to fly me. <coughs> Excuse me. No. no, it didn't. He told me how to do it, and I was like, well, okay. Yeah, they give you instructions Not really before listening. you walk down the tunnels, man. And just, <laughs> I've watched Star Wars my whole life, and when you're in the queue and then you're in waiting, you're in the Millennium Falcon, dude. It is really cool. You are in. When they open that door and you walk into the cockpit, yes. holy crap. Yes. You're, it, Har- you're Harrison Ford, man. You're walking in there. They like, do. Oh. They tell each one of you how to do your position. But like I said, I was like, it's going to fly me. Yeah. Like Mission Space. No. Nope. It flies you. You don't actually do anything when you hit the buttons. Yeah. We this had two one, pilots. Nope. We crashed everything on that time. Well, there was a stranger trying to do the other side. I, know. I didn't know that person. It, yeah, I know. And it's still fun even if the pilots can't fly because the guys in the back, you're hitting, you're either like an engineer or like a... Shooter. Yeah. Artillery or something. And it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's a good time. You have to do it. Star Wars Land is amazing. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge is awesome. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why no, you call fine. it Star Wars Land. It, it it's, it's themed insanely well. It's so awesome. Yeah. Everything about it. Yeah. The Millennium Falcon, like, it still stands out. Like, that's the thing that everybody knows about Star Wars. I thought I had a Star Wars shirt on with the Millennium Falcon on. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a it's a great fun ride. It's not the craziest ride. It's not super thrilling. No, but it's fun. But it's fun in the queue. If you're remotely a Star Wars fan, walking through there, it's so walking through the tunnels and the white walls and everything, and then you get into the main section right before you get into your individual rooms. That's where they were playing the chess. Oh man, it's so awesome. Last one for rides: Star Wars: Rise of Resistance. Yeah, this is the big. This is the big one. Um, this is another one that everybody, when they rope drop the park, they run to rise because it easily gets up to three hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is the big one. Um, I haven't rode it yet because Maddie won't ride it. Yeah. There's one section where you actually lift up off the ground. Uh, your whole cart does, but it, you lift up and you go into another section, but you can't, it's hard to tell it. I, I can't wait for the day you ride it. And I know you're not the biggest Star Wars fan, but I like, can't wait to ride it either. There's so like, it's hard to explain the amount of things that happen on this ride. Um, the cart is like Remy. It, it, it's, it's a, it's not on a track. It's trackless. <laughs> it like took my breath away. The, the queue, there's a ride before the ride. You don't even know it, but you're actually moving. There's a ride before the ride. And it was like two minutes long. I was like, I'm cool if this is the ride. <laughs> um, and then they open up and you walk into the freaking room with all the stormtroopers. And it I don't care if you're a fan or not. When you walk into that room, there's like 50 people. Not a soul is talking. Ever. Ever. I, I would just hang out in that room all day. And then you walk in. Then you get interrogated. I don't want to give away the whole ride. Then you get interrogated. And then you go on another thing. And then you go into another room. And then yeah, you Kylo Ren comes out. And oh, like sh- the walls disappear. Stop and talking. It gets crazy. <laughs> it gets crazy. Then you get into the actual ride. Okay. And you're like, I'm 15 minutes into this ride. <laughs> Dude, it's so awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to ride it. And then seeing the at, at like in real life, the big... Eight, Dude. Again, Galaxy's Edge is extremely well themed. But that ride, man. There's a reason why almost every day it gets up to three hours long. People are literally waiting willing to wait that long yeah for that ride i did the first time you ever wrote yeah, it you it did. was well over two hours and i was like was I'm that done. the only time you wrote it oh oh okay. i was like I'm, I'm doing it yeah and you waited and i got off tears in my eyes yeah i could tear i could tear up right now about it Shh. all right that so that's it for our must do rides yes there's other rides there but these are the ones man if you if you could compile a day 
and you can knock out those four shows and these five or six rides. Man, you had a great day. You had a great day, and that's probably a full <laughs> that's a full park opening to park close, depending on wait times and everything. Yeah, you totally. Play your cards right. You probably have to rush to rise first. Because it's always the biggest. If you got there right at park o- at rope drop, and then you got right back to maybe tower where it's only maybe a thirty minute wait, and then I don't know because Slinky Dog is probably at that point already Slinky. up. Slinky and and Aerosmith. You might not get all these rides all in one day. No. So unless it, you can get some plus lightning the shows, lanes, right? Like if you can get lightning lane, you can do it. And it's so funny. Like we're sitting here talking about this, and we always talk. Like everybody says, Hollywood's not really a whole day park. Oh yeah, it is. The heck it like. You're Hollywood not, you're is not riding totally all these. an all-day park, and this is not all the rides. No, or all the shows. No, that's not all of it. I I left out quite a few. Yeah, plus like, the characters. Oh yeah, we didn't even get to characters yet. Hollywood by far is an all-day park now, especially since Toy Story. Now, years ago, before Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge, uh, when they were building them, yeah, it was a half-day park all day. Now, dude, you, you can be park opening, park close. And probably still not hit everything. And you probably rode more rides than you did in some other parks. Yeah. Like, it's... Definitely Hollywood's more than Animal list, Kingdom. Man. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, definitely more than that. Yeah, for sure. I, that's more rides than uh, Epcot. Yeah. You're not... I mean, that's not more than Magic Kingdom, of course. No, but, but like, these rides, the, our must-do list, these are legit rides. Yeah. Compared to the other parks. Yes, totally. I, I love it, man. That's awesome. Hollywood's awesome. Let's move on. Let's move on to some food. We're going to snacks. Snacks. Where are we going first? These aren't in order of best. No. Oh, no. uh, well, it might be. Oh, okay. Uh, tachos at Woody's uh, Lunchbox. Tachos. Love them, dude. There's all kinds of mix of tater tots and cream cheese and beans. Chili. Chili. Tortilla chips. There's everything. Scallions. In this. Scallions. Like, and it's a hefty bowl, man. It's a big bowl because it's like 10 bucks. Is it that expensive? Yeah. It's 10 bucks. It's worth it. It's a whole meal. It would be a meal. It's a whole meal. Not a snack. You could eat that, especially if you eat it by yourself. The three of us shared one. Yep. I didn't like sharing it. <laughs> but it totally, if you eat that by yourself, that is a meal. Yeah. So we you can go to Woody's Lunchbox, which is always crazy packed. Oh my gosh. So busy. Uh, you can there. mobile order there though. Yeah. Go there. Get your grown ups lemonade with vodka. And get you some tachos. I didn't like the lemonade. That's good. Uh, Delicious. Yeah. Tachos are great. A lot of people like the pop tart thingies there. Eh. I don't like them. There's so much dough. They're it's, dry and crispy. They're never like soft and gooey like you would want them like on the and inside. And it's a lot of dough and it's hard. Yeah, like the dough around the outside is like a whole inch of just like the end it's of the really edges of pop tarts. Yeah, but not as good as that. No. They also have the other thing there that I love. Is that on our list? No. The um. Oh yeah, your sandwich. There's the sandwich there. The brisket. They have a barbecue brisket sandwich there it's darn i wish it was on our list that's good it's really good but here lately we've just got the tachos which yeah. stopped in and got the tachos yes that, that barbecue brisket sandwich it's no joke man it's good it's on like big texas toast man i'm hungry <laughs> mm. uh uh next is silly it's slushies maddie and i every time we go to hollywood studios we go to pv's polar pipeline where's that at if you are walking into the park there is a break in uh, Hollywood Boulevard where Sunset Boulevard is off to the right and you can go to the left, and I don't know what that's called. But if you go to the left and go to the back side of that store that's right there, yeah. PV's is right there. It's kind of hidden. It's a little it hidden. It is hidden. It's a hidden gym. There'll be like 10 people back there. It's on this back side by the lake. Yep. Echo Lake. Um, they have a couple different flavors of slushies. I don't know what it is. But I swear they're better than any other slushie yeah, in Disney. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that they're always frozen. Because sometimes you get them and they're not like completely frozen yeah. and they're liquidy. One of us is always at work and gets a picture of the other two of the family members drinking slushies. Mm-hmm. But it's always from the same place. Yeah. That's awesome. We love them. So that's our snack there. Of course, the Mickey pretzel with cheese, popcorn. Yeah. We have done snacks around this park. Uh, we did a top five. We oh, yeah. looked on the internet and picked out the top five of people's favorite snacks in this park. You guys should go watch the vlog. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> out of them, 
Do you remember what they were? Yes. What were the, the five? The carrot cake whoopie pie. Yep. It was okay. At the trolley cart cafe. I would not call that a must do. Dude, it... Eh. It was cheap, right? It was, it was, it was like five bucks. It was like five bucks and it, it is, was big. It's big. So try it. Make it your, your own mind for it. Before you go number two, that's also a Starbucks. That is. It's and a Starbucks, You're yes. going to wait in line. Oh, my gosh. You're going to wait in line because you people are crazy about your Starbucks. Starbucks is nuts. You, excuse me. And you can't just walk in and grab the snack and leave. Like, you're, you're waiting in line. We waited in line for like 30 minutes for that. And then Darn. I got cups of water. And we had to wait for everybody else's coffees before me oh, yeah, that was to get crazy. made before they brought the cups of water. And I'm like, oh, like, my what? gosh. This is I, ridiculous. I had the carrot cake in my hand. Yeah. I was like. We had already what, paid. What is mommy doing? She's like, she has to wait for the water. I was like, what? Yeah. And she, you had to wait in line with everybody else standing there for their cups of iced coffee. Starbucks is ridiculous. So. I, I, I won't wait in line again for that cookie. No. No. And we didn't even like it that much. We ate all of it between the three of us. It was not a must do. It wasn't. You remember mm-hmm. what the other ones were? Yeah. The tachos, which is a must do for tachos us. Tachos is good, man. That popcorn at Cat Sakaz, it was not good. I like the regular popcorn better. Take the regular popcorn. Don't. It wasn't Ugh. good. Um, the funnel cake. The funnel cake at Epic Eats, it's good. Dude, they're huge, man. They're huge and very sweet. So that's why I didn't make our must-dos we for s- snacks. We split that. And we still, we honestly, didn't, we threw it away. We didn't finish it. And dude... It was so sweet. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's huge. That thing weighed like three pounds, man. It was a lot. So if you're going to get a funnel cake, you can put that on your must-do list yeah. uh, for snacks. Because there's not a lot of snacks that we like. There's a couple in, other um, funnel cakes there too, right? There was a couple of flavors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of flavors. But they are huge. Now, we also haven't hit everything. Like, we've never been to Baseline to try out their pretzel, which oh, everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. raves yeah. about Baseline's pretzel. So try that. We need to do that. We do need to do that. We've never done that. Um, so yeah, that's about it for okay. our must-dos. Because right. like I said, we haven't tried everything in yeah. Hollywood. Dude, it, you're never going to try everything. We could, spend the rest, we could spend the rest of this year trying to hit everything in Hollywood Studios. One, we would go broke. Yeah. Uh, and two, by the time we got to the end, something changed back before it. Yeah. yeah um, so... There's snacks everywhere, so yeah. this stuff's not cheap. So it takes time to like to try eat everywhere. everything. Yeah, and like I said, definitely do the tachos. Slushies are silly, but it's one of me and Maddie's favorite yeah. things. Yeah. Um, All right. You could try the funnel cake. It's good. It's just very sweet and big. Yeah. So that's it for snacks, right? Try that baseline tap house uh, pretzel because everybody raves about Super it. Super popular. Place is always packed. Which is why we didn't get it. The day we went, we were going to try it. Dude, it was a line. Like, it was it was ridiculous, and it was hot. Everybody was ready to go, yep. so we didn't do the that one. Okay. Next up is restaurants. All right. Disclaimer. Well, we've already been talking about food for like 20 minutes, so. We have not eaten at a lot of these restaurants. Um, with the couple that we have, most of them we didn't like. So our list is small. And you might have different ones, but like I said, we haven't tried Baseline. That's not really a restaurant. So our first step would be ABC Commissary. It's a quick service. We end up eating there almost all the time because every time we go, we get good food. There's always seats available inside, always. So you can go in there and sit down and be like, (sighs) And we mobile order. It's a lot easier standing in that line sometimes. Dude, I love their food. Yes. I, I I love their food. Yes. You like the, um, what's it called? The buffalo chicken grilled cheese. It's awesome. And they give you extra of their like buffalo, buffalo sauce to dip it in. Dip it in there. It's not hot. By any means, it's not hot. But it's buffalo flavor. Dude, it's so good. And you've gotten the pork carnitas tacos. Amazing. Pickled onions, beans, rice. The meat's good. It's delicious. And you can walk in. Maybe order your food, walk in, and be eating in five minutes. Yeah. Go there. Actually, don't go there. Well, Moba order I, before I you seats. get there because it, it might take you a couple minutes and they won't let you inside. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're gating it on the outside. They won't let you in until your phone says that your mobile order is ready. Yep. Um, I get the chicken salad sandwich off the kids' menu. I love it. Yeah. 
it's and yeah. it's nice and cool, so it's not hot when no. it's hot out. I love the and everything comes with their big steak fries. They're delicious. All like it's always good. It's always good food. So ABC Commissary is a great quick service place for you to try. Yeah. It's if you're doing a quick service, that's a must do for yeah, us. If you go there on natural one day and if you didn't plan six months ahead or whatever, you're not getting into one of those restaurants anyway. Go to ABC Commissary. I tell you, those ones are hard. Their their walk up list is almost always full. Yep. Yep. Almost always. Uh our next would be fifties Primetime Cafe. Yeah. It's it's classic. It's fun. It's home style food. Yes. We haven't been in a few years. We haven't. We'll put that out there. Yeah. We haven't been in it probably hasn't changed. three years. But yeah. It, uh they treat you like you're in the fifties. They'll yell at you if you have your hands on the table or if you're your elbows. Elbows on the table. They'll they'll you will get picked on. If you don't finish your plate, you will get picked on. Yeah. We were there one year. And uh, somebody came back from the bathroom. Do you remember that? <laughs> I tell this story all the Do time. You? I vividly remember that guy getting called out, man. Yep. And they, the waiter, his waiter said to him, uh, did you wash your hands? And he said, yeah. And he said, what color was the soap? Dude. And he couldn't answer. And he said, you get back in there and wash your hands. Ever since, I make sure I pay attention to what <laughs> color the soap is when I'm at Disney. <laughs> uh, and I mean, they're not quiet. Like they called no. that guy out in front of 50 people, easily 50 people. Yeah. And it would, he's like, go back, and wash your hands. And it's like, dang. And now uh, this was all before COVID. Hopefully it's still just as fun and awesome. Who knows what the way the world is today. They might not even let you pick on people. I know. Is the way everybody's but yeah, changed. It was a lot of fun the last time we went. And it's still really packed all the time. All so the I time. assume it's still great great uh home style i remember the chicken and the mashed potatoes like Mom fried loved chicken the meatloaf meatloaf was always good like it's home style food but you got to book it well in advance to get into there yeah yeah the theming inside is yeah awesome. it's great you're in the 50s so cool next one is the sci-fi diner again we haven't been there in years haven't been there in years but big old burger joint yep and you get to sit in like a half of a car yeah like a miniature 50s car it's and then they have terribly horror movies yeah so the classic horror movies like <laughs> with the big bugs yeah <laughs> playing up there and you know they're ah! and you just sit there and eat and they have shakes and big old burgers again it's just hard to get in there so we, we live down here and it's like oh let's see if uh sci-fi is open we're, i don't we're plan three ahead. Months, yeah we're three months too late yeah i don't plan ahead and every time we go, the walk-up list is full. Again, you can try. You can. Um, try on all the time. Every time you're at a restaurant, if walk up to them and ask if you can join the walk-up list. Look at your app and see if you can join it. That's always. Always, at every restaurant. Like if, if you, this is your, first, your only time traveling down here in five years or something and you and your family so disappointed, walk up and walk ask, Walk up dude. and try. Walk up. Because you never know. It's free to do that. Yeah. And then somebody could cancel. So walk up and try again later. Cancellations all the time. Yep. Always. And now it just has to be two hours before. So yeah. you never know. Uh, characters. Oh, that's it for restaurants for us. Uh, okay. Like I said, we haven't done all of them. And there are some that we would never call a must-do because they're terrible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and not like Woody's Roundup Rodeo, it just opened. We it just, just haven't opened, had a chance yeah. to go there yet. A lot of people say it's good, but a lot of people have been a like, lot of- eh. A lot of people are saying it's not worth the money. So, so it, it makes me not want to go. Yeah, and I mean, you go and you drop $100, $150, $200 on expensive. these meals. And if the food's not worth it, man, you really, like, even though the atmosphere is cool, you're like, dang. I know. I just dropped a serious amount of money on So we haven't gone. Food. I have heard mixed we will reviews. Go. We will go at I want to go just to see the inside. Yeah, we will go at some point. Uh, but it's hard. It's hard to drop serious money on a, on a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. When there is really good snacks and quick service options. Yeah. Agreed. I'd rather go to the ABC commissary and know I'm getting a good chicken salad sandwich. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> All right. You mentioned characters. All right. We're doing characters. Hollywood Studios might be one of the biggest places. No. I think it would be it's between close, Epcot man. and Hollywood where you can find the most characters. And unique characters, not not Mickey Minnie, like yes. the one-off characters, man. Now, there are spots where you can stand in line to wait for 
Uh, Mickey and Minnie, and they're in their red carpet outfits. Oh, yeah. So Minnie's really got cool. her long, pretty dress yeah. on. Um, and you can also meet Olaf you have to stand in line for. But walking around is when Galaxy's Edge, you can meet Mandalorian, Rey, Dude, Chewbacca. The, the stormtroopers are out walking around all the time, and they interact with you. Some of them won't stop, especially the stormtroopers, because they're grumpy. They don't want to stop for pictures. Yeah, they will, though. But They it, will. But uh, just walking around, like, they're Dude. just everywhere. Kylo Ren's over on the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Stormtroopers are everywhere. They're up. Like, look around when you're in Galaxy's Edge. Because some of them, I've gotten video of them just up standing the, yeah. up there, not moving. And then every once in a while, you'll see him move and talk to people. But you walk by and not even notice him, him being there. And it's they interact cool. with you. Chewbacca sometimes stands up on top of buildings or yeah. else he's out walking around. Yeah. Um, I've I've been in the back of the pile of humans trying to get to the Mandalorian. Oh, God. And I'm just not going to... Like, it's insane when he comes out. One day, maybe five years down the road, he won't be as popular. I doubt it. I have a friend who got her picture with him, and he's pretty awesome. And he's got uh, Grugo yeah. on him. But, like, the, the Disney people will keep... Like, cause everybody's crowding him, cause they're so it's excited, insane, and the Disney dude. people have to like back them up. It's the insane. cast members are like, "You need to back up a little bit." Yeah, but he he's pretty awesome. And this this we're, this is this just, is Galaxy's, just Edge. Galaxy's Edge. I mean, Walk into Toy Story Land. You've got Jesse and Woody together at a spot in front of the um, Toy Story Mania. Yeah, Buzz is around the corner before you get into. Yep. Toy Story, Land. Toy Story Land. He's over on the left. Always. He has his own little spot. He's, that's where. That's like his new designated spot. Yep. And if you stand there for more than like twenty minutes, you will get video. He'll come across because mm-hmm. he walks right across to that spot, right from the uh, behind the uh, gate over there on the right hand side. Yeah. You can see um, the army men. The green army men come through. They play their drums. They march. Man, talking They'll about this. They'll play like, with you. Toy Story or, or uh, Toy Story. Hollywood Studios They is have legit. a lot of characters. Walking into the park, as soon as you get into where you, um, you you badge in, on the right-hand side, there's a balcony. Almost all day, there's characters up there. Either Donald and Daisy, Stitch has been Stitch. up there, Pluto's been up there. I got there. video of Pluto being up there. Like, Everything. It's crazy. And over to the side, um, on the yeah, side of... Oh, man, what's it called? Oscars. Yeah. No, Oscars is the... Anyway... If you go to the left by the photo place, Mary Poppins and her penguin is, are there. They're always out in that cubby hole. You could totally like get so excited and go right down Hollywood Boulevard, Boulevard and, and Mary and Poppins is hanging out over I there. I was in, in the thing pin treating and looked out the door and was like, ah, yeah. and ran outside. Nobody was out there. I've been standing right there by that old um, pickup truck, like just getting videos and pictures and stuff. And uh, two of the seven doors. Yeah. Walked across. They were just walking out there, and they were like mingling with people, and then they left. They walked out through the other yeah. way. No idea why, but I've been. I've heard like a bunch of characters hang out in there, just in that front section. Before you even get to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, on the right side, Frozone, Edna Mode, Edna Mode. Which I don't know if she'll be out front anymore because now she has her own spot. Oh, they opened up. They opened that back up in the Pixar place yeah. back by Toy Story Land. Yeah, you can meet Edna Mode back there. So I'm not sure if she'll be out front anymore. The Incredibles, but Frozone back by Echo Lake or the Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Now again, they might end up back. It uh, would be cool if they put Frozone and the Incredibles back in the Pixar place with Edna. They Mode. They probably have, but that's where we've seen them at. Um. Sully is in uh, the Walt. No, they took him out. They took Sully out. You can't meet Sully anymore. They took him out. When Makes did they me do so that? Sad. A couple months ago. Are you sure? Yes. If you go, I promise. Is there any character in there? I was sad now? about it. Look it up. I'm going to challenge you on that next do time it. we're there. Challenge me. Um, if you go into the Disney Junior section, you can meet Vampirina, oh, yeah. uh, Fancy Nancy, Pluto. And somebody else. I can't remember if it's Jake. I don't remember. Or somebody else. There's there's four characters always there on the side. If you have a Disney visa, you can go into oh. that old Star Wars store and get your picture with certain special Star Wars yeah. characters. So, <laughs> we sit here and talk about Hollywood. Like... There are characters everywhere. Between all the characters... You can see... You can easily see ten characters... Ride five to seven awesome rides. See three to four crazy shows. 
And they have a cavalca- cal- cal- oh, yeah. cavalcade. 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 Do they still do it? Yeah. So it's not much, but it's just a few of the characters. They come out. They get driven around. Buzz and rides around on a... Back of a Camaro. Yeah. It's awesome. Like, it's a short little parade, but the army, green army men are out there playing their drums. Hollywood, Hollywood's awesome, man. It is. There's a lot going on in Hollywood. People don't give Hollywood the justice, or like the do, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like the cert, like, yeah. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I have to admit, I don't think I have given it that, until we sit here and talk about it, and I'm like, wow, Hollywood Holly, yeah. is awesome. We sh- We always do Magic Kingdom or Epcot more than Hollywood and we do Animal Kingdom even less. Yeah. But it's just like Magic Kingdom. Well, it's, and now Maddie's into riding roller coasters and that's where you can ride the most of them. So I, Dude, we You got to get her on Tower. We still have to get her on Aerosmith. She's close. She's pretty close. Uh, it's got a loop and she hasn't done a loop yet, so yeah. she's afraid well, it's got three loops, I mean, but geez, she's afraid to do it. We've done Hagrid's and Guardians like the next step is a loop. Yeah. I I <laughs> Sitting here talking about Hollywood, I'm ready to go. I'm, I know, me too. I'm ready like to go I, wanna, I just want to go and try and find as many characters as I can. Yeah, the, you can probably meet more characters in Hollywood, one-off characters, than you will any other place. I agree. You can see some princesses at Epcot. Yes. Like in like, some of the countries and things like that. But a lot and we of, got lucky with that aisle way. But man, there oh, are a yeah, lot yeah. of characters. That was when like a you sit down thing. and think about it at Hollywood. Yeah. And we might even be missing some. We're not, we're like, we're not talking about shopping or anything like that. We're just no, saying we're just like must, must do do's. things. Yeah. yeah. We're leaving off Star Tours and Alien Swirling Saucer. We're leaving off rides. Which we love. Yeah, we ride them every time. Yes, but I wouldn't call them a must do. I would call nope. all this other stuff. So yeah. if if you've got one day in Hollywood, of Stay course your day, list man. might be different than ours, but you need to try some of these things because yeah. they are awesome. And definitely look for some characters. That's it. That's our must-dos for Hollywood Studios. Makes me want to go. I know. I'm ready to go tomorrow. I want a slushy and go look for some characters. <sighs> I'm ready to go for ABC Commissary. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. This was a fun one for us. Uh, if you'd like to follow us, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, we're everywhere you can find us. If you'd like to help support the channel, we do have a Patreon and a PayPal. Remember, memories are out there. <laughs>